ride. Is it rolling? Hi. We're here at the Black Black Pond. My first time. I'm a Black Pond virgin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Never been here before. I'm very experienced. <laughs> <laughs> With an old timer. <laughs> been here many, many, many times. So overcast. We thought we were going to get rained out. We forgot the food. <laughs> Shot of that. Get your bear. Get your big bear. So all the greens are together, all the oranges are together, and so on. And feathers are on the outside, which is owl breast, seagull wing, sparrow, duck, hawk, crow, and pheasant. And then I have single feathers in the middle, which are condor, hawk, swan, crow, assortment. And then I have crystals on the outside. And it's my makeshift altar. I can come here and go, hmm, what do I want to stick in my pocket before I go to a meeting or somewhere? Or just be reminded of the spiritual. So explain why the table is empty now. I'm making room for new things. <laughs> I used to have stones and crystals on my on my pedestal table, and I went back home and re-surrendered to Jesus and God the Father and God the Holy Spirit. So I cleaned off my table and I got rid of all the spiritual stuff, the books, the CDs, the DVDs. Um, uh, and my, my statues of Buddha and Hearn and Diana and uh, fertility gods and out of respect for God because God's been here the whole time and, and you quit smoking? no not yet <laughs> I didn't say I was perfect far from it but you know what I don't have to be <laughs> I've had every three to set up five years old. Yeah. You do know what? I hate it when you get those buckers on your fingers, you kick them off. <laughs> yeah. I like my big chair though, it's my favorite. Yeah, I can't figure out how to recline it though. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Oh. 
husband deals. Hi, Smiley. Stay down the kitties. Give me the headbang. Yeah, I love the headbang. Yes. What's he doing? Oh, yes. Yes. We're going home to be with Jesus. We are going to be free. From the presence of sin and death, sanctified and holy. Hi. D again. You probably know by now that I'm dying of cancer, but... And I'm taking vitamins. I'm trying to starve the cancer. <laughs> Eat well. You know, I still smoke, though. <laughs> Can't you tell by my voice? I gotta smoke his voice. But... Hopefully, I won't die too quick. <laughs> I got a lot to do. Babies to see, and sons, and dads, and brothers, and friends like Tom. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Hi, it's D again. I just wanted to say that I hope I leave this earth better than um, it was before, and that I loved well, and... Um, made the best of what I had in each day. Thanks. I remember. I remember. <laughs> yeah, I'm crazy. I'm funny. And I can be serious, but mostly I'm funny. <laughs> I'm just plain funny. I look at the world funny. And the world looks at me funny. <laughs> they make faces. They roll their eyes. What were the movies I was in again? Oh yeah, I was in Whiskey Hollow. They say it's the that Whiskey Hollow is the most haunted area in New York State. I'm going to kill Tom after this and bury uh, him I here. I gotta start over again. <laughs> so I don't want to mention this. Go ahead. They say that Whiskey Hollow is the most haunted place in New York State. Crows are crowing now behind me as I even speak that out loud. Satanic worship in Ku Klux Klan was reported years ago, eons ago, that they used to kill children as sacrificial things. And to this day, at nighttime, if you come up, they see little children, ghosts, and a bloody blanket. <laughs> Are you saying my glasses make me look like an old fart? <laughs> They make everybody look like all the Okay. Oh, God! Oh, my God! Oh, shit! <laughs> Strangers in... My auntie's, my auntie's house. <gasps> wow. This is a picture of Auntie and me when I was just a baby. The last time I think that I was ever here. That's when I was younger. I was gorgeous then. I was in my 20s. Of course I was gorgeous. Everybody's gorgeous in their 20s. <laughs> and I was in the Edith Ann. We were in a store. Of course, I found a big chair that I fell in love with. No. How about every day to set up five years old? Yeah. Did you know what? I hate it when you get those suckers on your fingers, you kick them off. <laughs> and what other movies have I been in? I don't know, little clips here and there that Tom keeps whipping out his camera and, and doing crazy stuff. Oh yeah, 
yeah. I showed you all my stones and my feathers that one time. They're gone. Well, I keep I kept the stones because they're beautiful, but the feathers were gone. Someone stole my condor feather. If you see it, let me know, will you? <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Before cancer. Right before cancer. Here I am. 1982. Gorgeous! <laughs> That's me holding baby Morgan, friend of mine. I was there when she was born. I, I rushed to the hospital. And, uh, let me say, cornerstone people. Love You were my first contact with love of God, and I really appreciated it. Um, you didn't want to say, are you saved? Do you know the Lord Jesus Christ is your personal Lord and Savior? <laughs> I was waiting for that. I remember I came with a gauze shirt you could see through with no bra, and I tight tightest jeans I could find in my buffalo sandals. It was the 70s. And I was just daring somebody to say that to me. And you didn't. You just loved me. You know, it took me in and were warm and friendly and I was drawn to that. Drawn to kindness and I appreciate each and every one of you that was in my life. Thanks, Cornerstone. God hopes all things. God endures all uh, Tom wanted me to talk about when I finally found that, you know, I wasn't going to be cured of cancer. I wasn't going to be a survivor. That was rough. I was in the room and um, I did everything they told me to do. I did my six chemos every three weeks, and um, they did, because I have invasive aggressive breast cancer, they did a real aggressive act on me, and they did 30 days of radiation, um, five days a week. And before the radiation was done, my neck started to bulge out. And they said maybe it was irritated, but come to find out, biopsy, breast cancer, and I have a little bit of uh, nodule in my lung, which 99.9% .9 sure that it's breast cancer, not lung cancer. But when the doctor said, look, we're not going to cure this, I just kind of went, what? Because <laughs> I expected to be a survivor, have reconstructive surgery, so I'd have, you know, both breasts, and I can't even have surgery. It's disappointing because... I walk to the left a lot because <laughs> I'm off balance. But um, facing death, you know, you all of a sudden reprioritize. You do, you find what's really, really important, and that's loving people the best that you can, and um, you know, make a bucket list and say, you know, what I want to want to do. I had to make a choice. Do I stay on chemo and be very, very sick and very, very fatigued and not be able to stand long enough to make a pot of coffee? Or do I die very quickly because this is invasive and aggressive, so it's going to grow fast, but get everything done that as quickly as I can and as much as I can and be, like I said, the most loving I can until I go. D again. I tried wigs. I don't think they're for me. <laughs> This one came from the Kinsey Society. I don't know who cut it, but they were a little lopsided. <laughs> this is it. You know, me. I miss my long hair. I used to have long hair down to there. Nice, beautiful, it, it, soft wave. Do a Brooklyn accent with that. I could do a Brooklyn accent with this really easy here. Be like, oh my god, I'm self verklempt. <laughs> you know, if I had sons and daughters, they would call. But they don't, they don't call the mother. They just, you know. Go, do the thing, do the life. It's all right. Don't worry about it. <laughs> hey, did you push it? I don't see it on. It's not on. Eh. Now it's on. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Hey, man, I don't know what's going on. You got me sideways. I, I can't go out face. You can't put me sideways like that. I'll come out sideways. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Wow. Hey. Happy trails to you until we meet again. Happy trails to you to all my beautiful friends. <laughs>
<laughs> What's today? The eighth, right? March eighth. Um, yeah. Do you have any food stamps today? See, I get mine on the seventh. Do you have anything funny to say? <sighs> Look, are you out of my email? Yes. Okay. You closed it all down and everything. Yep. Okay. Thank you. No, I don't have anything funny to say right now. Actually, I want to hang up because I'm in pain. Okay. Call me. Okay. Bye. You know, I, that would be great if that happens, but I still have to plan for it not happening. I still have to set up stuff. I still have to, you know, and I'm hoping that this life alert will kind of like put people at ease, you know what I mean? Like my family and my friends put you all at ease. It's like, uh, look, I got something. It'll cover fire, theft, carbon monoxide, I've even got a mobile unit so that anywhere in the United States, if I'm in trouble, I could just push the button and I get police. Like if I think I'm being followed. Probably like that. Yeah, that be the case right now. Just wanted to say that I hope I leave this earth better than um, it was before, and that I loved well and um, made the best of what I had in each day.
Happy trails to you until we meet again. Happy trails to you to all my beautiful friends. <laughs> Happy life.